on behalf of Guru KPO, I, Professor B.K. Jain from Biani Institute of Science and Management of Biani Group of Colleges, welcomes you in this special video lecture. The topic for today's discussion is financial instruments dash their classification. I would once again recall that financial instruments are one of the key components of the Indian financial system. In fact, the financial instruments are issued by the financial institutions. They are claims against these financial institutions which have issued them. They are payable after a particular period along with the principal and interest oblique dividend on them. These different types of financial institutions, financial instruments can be classified and I have given six broad areas of their classification. One is known as marketability. Marketability means whether they are marketable or they are not marketable. There are marketable securities like shares and debentures which can be easily sold in the market. Then there are non-marketable instruments. The non-marketable instruments are bank deposits, LIC policy, etc. which cannot be sold in the market. They always remain in the name who has purchased them. Another is the nature. One are cash securities, others are debt securities. Cash securities means ready cash, currency notes. You might have seen that in the currency note, Governor Reserve Bank of India promises to pay the bearer a sum mentioned in the note. Now there are debt securities, securities which have been taken to borrow money and these best example of debt security is debentures. There, there are type of assets, one are known as physical assets. Physical assets are those which are attained, which are acquired, which have been constructed not for earning profit but for use. And the best example of physical asset is house, land, building, etc. Others are financial assets. These assets are acquired always to earn profit, to gain, to gain financial money in, out of those services. And these financials are, it may be shares, it may be debentures. Now, according to the nature, there are direct securities or, or direct financial instruments or indirect financial instruments. Direct are those which are issued by the borrower, for example, shares, debentures, and indirect are those which are issued by intermediaries. These are LIC policies, GIC policies, mutual fund, etc., which are issued by financial intermediaries operating in the financial market. Then there are financial instruments which can be classified on the basis of their type of market. There are some money market securities, there are some capital market securities. Money market securities are, for example, treasury bills. These are the bills issued by Reserve Bank of India whenever government of India wants borrowing from public. Then there are CDs, they are known as certificate of deposits. And then there are, the other is capital market securities. These are the securities which are issued for a long term and the best example of these securities are shares, debentures, bonds where the period is normally a longer. On the basis of maturity period, these financial instruments can also be classified into short term securities, medium term securities and long term securities. Short term securities are those which are for a period of less than one year. Medium term are those which are for three to five years and long term securities are those which are for a longer period, say more than five years. There are many examples which can be quoted against these short term, medium term and long term securities. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For further details, kindly log on to www.gurukpo.com.